In order to um, turn this Fender bass breaker into a perhaps more usable uh, free channel amp, um, um, you could put something in front of it that use a distortion pedal and use a clean channel. That's basically what I'm doing. But um, in this case, I'm using a Black Star HT dual pedal, which I'll show you in a minute. But what you can do with that, obviously, you've got more control over the amp and, and what you can do with it if you use one of these. Obviously, you can use the effects loop as well um, for, for all your other effects or put your effects after uh, the distortion because we're only using the clean channel. So here's a clean channel. So it's kind of set pretty clean. I suppose there's a slight bit of, slight bit of grit in there. Um, if you hit it hard enough. I'm using quite low powered pickups as you probably know me, people know me by now, I don't use high powered pickups. I don't sit my pickups right next to the strings either so I have to hit them hard to get a bit of a growl out of them. But um, so here we got the, uh, so that's clean, let's go, let's go for dirt, channel one dirt. It's channel one dirt, channel two dirt. Channel one dirt. Hey. Which is pretty cool, right? So um, you could use channel one for your kind of for your kind of rhythm, and you could use like channel two. Use channel two for um, your lead. Because um, there is quite a boost between channel one and channel two if you want to set that. So here you go, channel one. So channel one, channel two. Don't know if that's going to come across on the uh, on the camera, but I can tell you it's probably about maybe a 15 dB boost. Um, but you can set it for more of that if you want, just depends how far you want to go. Um, and obviously you can set the distortion more or less, depends how far you want to go. So anyway, let's get a little bit deeper into this. This is not a new pedal, this is kind of an old pedal, but it just, if, you, if you're in a marketplace, you want to get, if you want to get a decent amp, like, you know, this Fender Bass Breaker is a decent amp, a decent head, and uh, it's, a, it's all valve, and it sounds great, it's lovely, and it feels great to play as well. Because amps, you know, people say, ah, oh, they talk about amps, they go, oh yeah, but it sounds the same, a, a transistor amp sounds the same as a valve amp, and all I get all that, I get that, but the thing is, when you're playing, and you, you feel it, you feel the guitar, you feel the amp, you feel the sound that you're making, there's, there's more to an amp than just, what well, the sound that just comes out. Maybe I'm crazy, I don't know. But anyway, so, um, this will be much more, much more usable with, you know, something like a HT dual pedal in front of it, to my mind. The only other way with, of doing it would be just to use it straight in and use your, your volume to back off, um, just to back off your volume, just to get your clean sounds, which is kind of old school, which uh, we've all done uh, and we all probably still do. But, you know, sometimes, especially if you're a bit of a, um, perhaps if you're more of a metal player and you just want to get, you just want to push the amp a little bit harder, this is, this is the way you can do it. Because what you can also do is you, you, you can actually set this amp, uh, as I'm clean at the moment, which is which a low output, you can set it to medium output. So clean. So you just kind of like break it up instead of the real clean that we had before. You put the distortion on. Yeah, let's jump to So yeah, kind of a lot, a lot going on there. But you can do that if you want to do, if you want to push it harder. Um, just for record, uh, uh, I'm only at, um, I don't know, 10 o'clock on the master volume, so you've got loads more to go uh, in terms of volume. So, um, let's have a look at the Black Star pedal. Uh, I'll take you down there so you can ever see what, what, what's going on with it. Um, then we'll take it from there. This is the uh, Black Star uh, HT dual pedal. Um, uh, you can get these uh, on eBay quite cheaply now. Uh, and they're a great, great bit of kit. But anyway, uh, gets you out of trouble. Uh, one thing to to notice is just here, where my finger is, there's an emulated output. So uh, if if you take one of these as a, as a standby amp, that's a pretty good idea because if your amp breaks down, you can go up from the emulated output into the PA, and you got you got a guitar rig back again. 
Obviously, uh, we've actually used this for recording as well uh, as in some places, and uh, the emulated output is really good. It's a good sound for recording. Um, so basically, you have um, an option on this one where you, where channel one can be either a clean or a crunch channel, um, depending on how you're using it. And, and I'm assuming if you're going to use this as an, emu an emulated uh, format, you might want that option, which is a pretty good idea. Channel one um, is is uh, this kind of like this. There's two there's two um, um, little knobs here. This channel one here. This is this is channel two. The same with the level channel one and channel two here. Um, basically, you set the gain, you set the bass, the middle, the treble, just like you would any other any other guitar amp. And obviously, with uh, Blackstar, you get the ISF, which is the infinite, infinite shape feature. D basically, uh, uh, American sound amps this way, uh, British sound amps that way. Personally, I, I, I don't think it sounds that American when you go that way it just changes the mid frequencies um, but yeah if you've got an amp that you're in a room and it's like really bright it's cutting people's heads off um, the ISF is really good so you can turn it right and that stops that from happening it, it stops that you know head cutting thing going on but um, yeah it's a pretty good uh, pretty good feature this no matter you know which way you use it whatever you use it for or whatever you think it sounds like it's a great feature especially uh, when you're playing live um, but yeah, basically channel two is here. That's it. Channel one is channel one. Channel two is channel two. If you don't want, if you just want clean from your amp, you just switch one off, and that's it. It's as simple as that. Very, very simple. Okay, so we turn the uh, Fender bass breaker into a, a three-channel amp, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, do some comments in the bottom. Subscribe, uh, and I'll catch you later.